Alright guys, so right now I'm starting with the NYX Color Correcting Liquid just to neutralize any of the redness on my skin. And then going with a washable glue stick, I'm just going to run that through my eyebrows. And I'm going to use a spoolie to brush them up. And this is so I can prep them to cover them for this alien look. And you can layer this as much as you need. And then after you're done putting the glue on and layering it, I just set it with a NYX HD setting powder and then the NYX Cos or, sorry, the BH Cosmetics brush. And taking the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, I'm just taking this pink color out of the palette and I'm applying that to my eyebrows and this is going to help neutralize any darkness. Um, also an orange would work very well. And then I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Concealer and this is a liquid concealer which I recommend putting on top of cream so it does not mix. And I'm taking the BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just stippling it on so that it does not mix. Um, it might a little bit, but that's okay. And right here you can see I'm just layering it on. And then I'm going to take that HD powder again, um, the translucent powder. I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just press it on top just so that it's not tacky anymore and to set that and then taking the NYX mineral stick foundation and then the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush I'm just going to slap that all over my face um, just as a foundation to neutralize all of my redness and then taking the NYX jumbo eyeshadow stick and the shade milk I'm just going to put that on my eyelid and then blend that out with my finger and then I'm going to take the NYX Primal Color in Hot Pink and a Morphe eyeshadow brush and just apply that to the eyelid. And then I'm going to take the NYX Primal Color in Hot Purple and the Sigma E39 and I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of the eyelid and then the inner corner kind of like a halo effect. The NYX Primal Color in Hot Black, I'm going to take the Sigma E39 again and just put that into the crease and I'm just going to blend that up a little bit, not too far. And then taking the Delium Tool 776 brush, this is just a nice blending brush, I'm just going to diffuse the black. And then taking the Primal Color in Hot Blue and the Morphe, 3, sorry, the Morphe M330. I'm just going to use it as a transition shade from the black um, into the blue. I'm just going to blend that up towards the eyebrow. And then taking the hot pink shade from NYX and a Morphe eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to apply that into the inner corner of the brow bone and I'm going to kind of leave a harsh line on the outside and smoke it out towards my eye if you can see right there. And then taking the Sigma E39 again, and then the hot blue also, and just striking that underneath the waller, sorry, the lower lash line. And I'm going to smoke that out pretty far and make it pretty dramatic. And then I'm just going to take Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to slap that into the inner corner of my eyelid as an inner corner highlight. And I'm using the Morphe MB18 brush, by the way. And then using the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Liner. You can also use as an eyeliner. Same thing. Um, in black, I'm just going to put that into the waterline pretty heavily. And I'm going to smudge it out with the Morphe MB18 brush. Right here, I'm just going to take the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Vivid Halo. I'm just going to do a traditional winged eyeliner. And 
then right here I'm taking the NYX Be Wicked Lashes in Vitaly. I think that's how you say that. I'm just going to put those on and then use this NYX Full Figured Mascara for the lashes. And I'm also just going to randomly place that underneath my um, eyes just to add some texture and depth. And I'm going to take a the black cream out of the Makeup Forever palette and this dual fiber brush and I'm just going to randomly put brush strokes on around my eyes as you can see you can kind of mimic this. And then I'm also, since I don't have eyebrows, I'm also going to put a bunch of color and random streaks um, above my eyes just to give it a little bit more, just to make that area a little bit more interesting. And then I'm taking the Sigma F23 brush and the Morphe 06 PW palette and I'm going to be contouring with that. And then also I'm going to use the Morphe MB25 brush right here just to contour my nose and my lips. And then I first went in with a highlight um, called Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. And this is also what I used in my inner corner. And I'm just going to use the Morphe M438 brush and apply that. I really like how this looked. It was pretty natural and sheen, which I kind of wanted it to be like super metallic glossy. So then I went back in with the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette and I took the lightest champagne shade and I just drenched my skin in that basically pretty much everywhere. And right here is when I go in with the NYX eyeshadow palette, or sorry, the NYX highlighting palette. Adds a lot of intensity as you can see. Right here I'm going in with the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick. And this is in the shade Stone Fox. I wanted something pretty dark and neutral with this look since the eyes were pretty crazy um, and colorful. I still wanted to go dark with the lips so this was a perfect choice. Right here I'm going with the blush by NYX um, and this is in the shade Crimson. It's a really intense red and I just wanted to you know go all out because of this look so I'm using that pretty heavily on my cheekbones. And then going back with that Makeup Forever palette I'm just going to take some red and yellow I believe on that same dual, dual fiber brush I'm just going to sweep that from the brows up and then taking some black to break up the color. And then with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour and then the Micro Brow Pencil. I'm just drawing in little fake freckles I guess. This is the Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour. That one's a little bit thicker um, and then I'm using the Micro Brow Pencil just to get smaller ones in variation. And these are both black eyeshadows. Or these are both black, sorry. And that's pretty much all for this tutorial. Um, I just want to do something edgy and different. So if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up, um, comment down below what you think, screenshot this, post it if you want, make sure you tag me. 
um, and recreate this, please. I want to see other people's renditions. Um, so subscribe if you'd like to see more, and that's all for this video. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.